Hello, someone sent me this model on my Discord server and asked me if I could fix the topology and connect the meshes to make a single sub-D mesh. So if you want to know how to do that, watch this video. Let's get started. When I opened the file, the meshes were not at the center of the world, they had an orientation and the rotation was already applied. So what I did was to create two empties, one on the meshes with the same orientation and another one at the center of the world. I parented the meshes to their empty, then I added a copy rotation and a copy location constraint and I chose the empty that is at the center of the world as the target. That way the meshes are now oriented to the world and it's much easier to work. Once I will be done, I will just have to remove the constraint and the meshes will be back to their original location, coordinates and rotation. I begin by moving the 3D cursor to the middle, then I delete half of the model since the shapes are symmetrical. To connect the meshes together, I delete some faces because I need this empty space. I can divide the number of sides of the two cylinders by two. I don't like to close the top of a cylinder with a pole, so I delete it and I add a grid fill instead. I do the same at the bottom. I join everything together, then let's close the hole. You can bridge two opposite edges, then add a grid fill. I move the origin to the 3D cursor and I apply a mirror modifier. I'm counting the number of edges because I want to have the same number at the opposite side. That way I can close the gap with a grid fill. You can reduce the number of edges by connecting the vertices of three edges and make a diamond polygon. I add a bevel at the base of the cylinder. Then I repeat everything I did before for the bottom area. Thank you. 
and I add a mirror modifier. Now let's take care of the small cylinder in the middle. Let's add a boolean modifier set to union, then delete the interior faces. And connect the vertices. This is an area that can have some shading issues because the amount of sides of the cylinder is not very high so I have to make sure that I don't have too much distortion. Add a bevel and a mirror modifier. Do it one more time to mirror the small cylinder to the opposite side. All you have to do now is to remove the constraint. Thank <laughs> you. 